Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another manga review. And this one is of Volume 7 of Terraformers. Um, as the series kind of progresses, a lot of different themes and issues start popping up. This one is more focused on back on Earth and the people who basically started the U NASA project. And that they're really not for bringing back their people or bringing around their people or anything like that. Um, so they're kind of like they're they're not going to be coming back. It's one person, um, and I can't I don't know if it's from the China one or something like that. Uh, but um, it's very much like. A condescending like there is not going to be any more people they are not they're not coming back so it is very interesting on that end um, but then we also get the starting conflict of uh, their main kind of place that they were going to take off of Mars from um, which is, I believe is run by the China sector or maybe not I think the China sector just got to it first and what happened is that they're basically going to either destroy the planet or something but they are not going to help the other teams they are going to just be on their track what they want to do yada yada and they are a very strange and different part and like this is more to the end of the manga that we get kind of more of a look at china or the the sector of china in this book um, because we're just, a lot of them are still fighting, uh, the cockroaches. And, um, the guy that's on the cover is, we're talking more about him, that he was not made normally. He was genetically engineered to have multiple bugs and to be kind of a really good, good character or a really good person to put on this. Um, I believe so. It's, it's either that art leads into eight as well. Um, but as Michelle R. Davis, uh, but with Michelle, she was naturally the genetics that her father had naturally went to her and she was a miracle child. And thus she was able to have the bullet ant and the explosive one or blaster ant. Um, and that's how special she is. And, she was the normal one, but after that, everyone wanted to have more, more than that. So, it is very, very interesting. Um, and you get more of the details and stuff like that in here, but to see, like, what's happening on Earth and how people are reacting to it is very much just, kind of thing. It's very, like, they want this project to work but they really don't anymore because they're having to sink so many people in it to defeat the cockroaches, which at this point, like, if it was me, I would either nuke the planet or basically decide that I'm done with that planet. Just, just no more. Not wanting to see it, not wanting to deal with it. Nothing like that anymore. But I guess they, you could also say they sunk a lot of money into it, so. But if you enjoyed this or are enjoying the series definitely leave a like leave it in the comment section below what did you think of volume 7 no spoilers because i'm only on like not a lot of the volumes this series is very long uh but definitely tell me in the comment section below what you thought or uh what you think of the series as of this volume and definitely don't forget to subscribe because I do try and put out as many videos as I can in a week. Hopefully Monday through Friday. Uh, I believe this week I'm going to have Monday through Friday. I don't know. But I try my best and I try and review different, crazy, or just something different. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful, wonderful day. And on that side note, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I have the links down below. Wolfie Chan, out. Bye.